think as much as we would like to start the league, uh, the first round to be at a better position. Sometimes uh, in life or just in football, like you have mentioned, the second round doesn't offer us a chance to, to rectify the mistakes. So maybe for us it's, it was a blessing in disguise because the moment you know your weaknesses, going into the second round, I think you try to work on that. And uh, uh, this is what we have been doing in the past three weeks because it gave us chance to do most of the work which we didn't do. And remember, this is a team which is coming from the first division. So we have to adjust in the Premier League. Yes, most of the players have been there, but uh, it's another league because we are coming from Division 1. So for us, I think this should be a blessing in disguise because we know where we are lacking and exactly your weights we have worked on, on what we are missing and we hope we are going to turn the tables around. Assessing, but uh, I think uh, we identified where we are lacking and we hope we will do the deals by the coming week. If we have a chance of winning the, the title, I think uh, you, you don't win the, the title in the first round, but our aim, first of all, is to be realistic and we'll take each game as it comes because we are 11th on the, on the lock and this is a team coming from the first division. So the most important thing first is to stabilize and see where we will find ourselves obviously after playing maybe five to ten games then from there we take it up because wherever we'll be on the log after five ten games then we have to set a new target but for now we we'll take each game as it comes so our target for for now is different then we'll start talking about that if we can at all be in the top four and be close to the the, the teams who are on top, then our targets can change because this is football. But uh, uh, we have to be realistic. So going to the Janice Kazoe uh, uh, officiating our match, I think there was not going to be a perfect match uh, between any other team other than our game against Red Arrows because I believe this is a game which will there will be a lot of fireworks because both teams, I think, towards the end, we didn't do well. So we are all eager to, to win this game. So it will be a very bef uh, befitting match for our regents, referee, Janice Kazwe, who was at the World Cup. It will be an honor even for us as a team, the coaches, uh, the teams involved, because this is a man who's coming from the, from the World Cup. And the last game, being the game against Napsa and the Red Arrows, it's an honor. I haven't had a lot of goals in the games between Red Arrows and Napsa Stars. But believe me, I think this is one of the best games to watch in the Super League because both teams are both playing teams, uh, good pr principles. Uh, I think the lack of goals sometimes, obviously, we will show that maybe the game wasn't exciting. But the Napsa Red Arrows game, I think, expect fireworks always. And uh, no different from tomorrow's match. And like my fellow coach said, also they had a, a deep in form towards the end of the, of the first round. Equally us, we didn't do very well. But we are not very far from most of the teams. That's the consideration we get. And uh, obviously they are, they are training for, for a win. Even us, we want to win. So it will be an exciting match. The lack of goals, I think, hasn't shown that uh, the games have been down. But I believe even the new, new draw, yes. Yes, no goals because football, people come to, to watch goals. But it didn't happen and football, Sometimes it happens like that. Victory over prison records, I think it was a very big morale booster, more especially that we are going on the break. And 
we I think it was good for the confidence of the team 